Grand Canyon, um, uh, it's called the Grand Canyon Adventure, it's on 3 d on Maxville, and my uh, guy I worked with, Steve Wood, had tons of plugins, and he was using his plugins, and like that bass drum, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell Henry. Um, but anyway, so, uh, I was just starting to get involved with Logic and computer software for recording, so I, I just went online and I started looking at, I went to, um, I think uh, it was uh, DigiDesign's website, and I was looking at all the stuff that was compatible for Pro Tools, and um, Amplitude came up. So I checked it out, and then I saw everything that was offered from I think all the medias, um, and I just started going crazy. I, you know, I got the Jimmy Hendrix, I got the metal, I got like, oh, really? oh yeah, I was just like, all just for recording purposes, just for side projects, or just for, um, uh, you know, demos and stuff like that, and so then I saw the MPEG, and I was like, well, that's awesome. So I tried it out, and uh, I loved it, and it was the easiest thing for me to just to, like, feel like I had a head inside my computer when I was recording, and it picked different styles and different type of amps and vintage amps, and all that was just really amazing, um, the resources available from, uh, to get any sound I wanted. Then what happened is then I started seeing the stomp. Just like, in, you know, I'd always go to the, the page just to check out for updates and, you know, see what new toys I could get. And, uh, and the stomp, I saw the stomp and I just kept thinking, like, oh, that's, that's cool, that's kind of cool. I don't really need that in my house. I have a little space and I just do everything on the computer. But then I sort of realized that it was for live, for live year. And I started thinking, because I've been struggling with effects for my bass. Struggling with like, do I have a pedal board? I was using um, different effect processors that were more for guitar and vocals to try and get all these crazy sounds. But the bass guitar has a just a it's too it's just got something about it that the, the processors don't really like. So we um so anyway, I saw this thing. And I was like, this looks easy and simple, and um and so I'll give it a try. Try it out. So we got one, and we tried it out, and literally, literally everyone loved it. The sound guys loved it. The front house guy loved it. The monitor guys loved it. We ended up just we, we're, at first we were using it with the rig, and then we just ended up turning off all the amps. We just used it as a power amp. So I'm getting everything straight off of the software. So it's great. I mean, it's like virtual world. I can decide what cabinet I want, what condenser mic I want. Um, and then uh, the sound guys have been helpful because to them, they're getting a real clean like sound from the amp every night. It's not variables aren't changing. So a lot of times what would happen is the other older amps, I would go over and I'd make changes throughout the show. And so each night it was a little bit different. But um, for some reason, it's just been working great. So I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm real stoked. It's a clean looking, I mean, the pad itself is really clean. Um, and it made me start playing WAP, which I've never done before because I've never had a WAP at all. So you got my creative with your effects and it's easy to use. That's awesome. Absolutely. I bring up some uh, guitar effects too, uh, just to try out. Um, and they've been working. There's some, I think, uh, in the X, the X Factor. X Gear. X Gear. They have one that controls off. So you can pull yes. up everything from the different programs. So you can take something from Hendrix and mix it with Right, and that's what I've been doing a little bit inside of that. That's kind of cool too. Cool. So have you been pulling up something from Hendrix or Hendrix? With the bass, I haven't. Um, I also play guitar. So back in the hotel rooms, when I don't want to play bass anymore. I have to take out my electric guitar, and I've been, I've been doing some stuff with the uh, Hendrix, and you just love the sounds. I've been uh, kind of channeling the Hendrix songwriting thing and trying to write some of my own stuff. So. It's, cool. it's amazing how easy it is to get really good sounds and to make it sound like I had an amp in a room with a certain type of light, a certain type of amp, that pedals, effects, everything. And it's just so quick and easy. Which, as a musician nowadays, um, on the road and how much we travel, it just it's great to have that um, to my uh, you know just to just to have that to you and some days off and then be able to go out and stage. So I mean, we're um, Happy. Well, we're excited that you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> First on my own, how many um, 
months have you been touring with them? Oh, it's been about a month and a half. Yeah. And no hiccups? And no hiccups. Fun. I mean, we use a Mac Mini, and, uh, and it, it's, it's great. It has nothing has gone wrong at all. So, I'm really excited about that. So, that's awesome. So, that's my favorite. Thank you. 